evaluation of double integrals let x comma y be the variables then how to integrate a function of x comma y with respect to x and y over a region of say the x y plane so initially if the limits are given it's well and good otherwise from the region that is given to us or from the figure or from the equations for the region we identify the appropriate inequalities representing the region or in terms of x and y we will be able to get the appropriate limits if y is having variable limits initially we integrate with respect to y or if x is having variable limits then we integrate with respect to x initially then of course with respect to the other variable while performing integration with respect to y we treat x as a constant similarly if you initially integrate with respect to x we treat y as a constant let us discuss a few problems on evaluation of double integrals initially let's discuss integral x is equal to 0 to 1 integral y is equal to x to root x of x square plus y square dy dx here y has got variable limits so we perform integration with respect to y initially substitute the limits and later on integrate with respect to x while integrating partially with respect to y we treat x as a constant or if we integrate with respect to x we treat y as a constant so given integral is integral 0 to 1 integral y is equal to x to root x of x square plus y square dy dx initially we integrate with respect to y to get integral x is equal to 0 to 1 of x square y plus y cube by 3 to be evaluated at y is equal to x and root x and then dx this becomes integral x is equal to 0 to 1 when you substitute the upper limit we get x to the power 5 by 2 plus x to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 then when we substitute the lower limit we get two quantities with a negative sign minus x cube minus x cube by 3 dx so this on integration with respect to x become x to the power 7 by 2 by 7 by 2 plus x to the power 5 by 2 by 3 times 5 by 2 minus x to the power 4 divided by 3 these are to be evaluated at x is equal to 0 and 1 so we get the numerical value as 2 by 7 plus 2 by 15 minus 1 by 3 or 3 by 35 let's discuss a problem on polar coordinates evaluate integral theta is equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 r is equal to 0 to 2 cos theta r square dr d theta here r has got variable limits so have to perform integration with respect to r first of course when you integrate with respect to r if necessary we take theta as a constant so here given integral is integral theta is equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 integral r is equal to 0 to 2 cos theta r square dr d theta or it becomes integral theta is equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 of r cube by 3 it is to be evaluated at r is equal to 0 and 2 cos theta and then d theta this quantity is non-zero only at the upper limit at lower limit it is zero so we get the value as 8 by 3 integral 
theta is equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 of cos cube theta d theta or it can be written as 16 by 3 integral theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 cos 3 theta plus 3 cos theta divided by 4 d theta. What is the reason? Cos cube theta is an even function. Therefore, integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 of cos cube theta d theta can be written as 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 cos cube theta d theta. Another point is cos cube theta can be expressed in terms of cos 3 theta and cos theta because we know that cos 3 theta is equal to 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. So on integration we get 4 by 3 into sin 3 theta by 3 plus 3 sin theta to be evaluated at 0 and pi by 2. We know that sin pi by 2 is 1, sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1, sin 0 is 0. So the value becomes 4 by 3 into minus 1 by 3 plus 3 or on simplification we get 32 by 9. We may as well notice from the figure that here r is equal to 2 cos theta is a circle having its center on the positive direction of x axis or initial line. Its center is at 1 comma 0. Theta changes from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 since the circle lies only in the first and fourth quadrants. Let's now discuss another problem. Evaluate double integral xy into x plus y dx dy over the area between y is equal to x square and y is equal to x. This problem is different from the earlier ones in the aspect that the limits are not given explicitly. What is y is equal to x square here? It's a parabola symmetric about the y axis. It passes through origin. What is the other one? y is equal to x. It's a line. It will be making 45 degrees angle with the positive direction of x axis as well as y axis. So now we have got the region between the parabola and the straight line. The parabola and the straight line intersect only in the first quadrant. They intersect at 0, 0 and 1, 1. With this, we shall now enter into the problem. Here, the area between y is equal to x square a parabola and y is equal to x the line will be as shown in the figure. The region lies between two vertical lines x is equal to 0 comma x is equal to 1 and between two horizontally oriented curves y is equal to x square and y is equal to x. So the region can be described by x square less than or equal to y less than or equal to x 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. Remember that this region can be described by another set of inequalities also. But we have chosen this set of inequalities. Now double integral xy into x plus y dx dy becomes integral x is equal to 0 to 1 integral y is equal to x square to x of xy into x plus y dy dx since y has got variable limits initially we perform integration with respect to y treating x as a constant we get the value as integral x is equal to 0 to 1 of x square y square by 2 plus x y cube by 3 to be evaluated at y is equal to x square and x and then dx. Substituting the limits we get integral x is equal to 0 to 1 of x to the power 4 by 2 plus x to the power 4 divided by 3 
minus x to the power 6 divided by 2 minus x to the power 7 divided by 3 and then dx. Let's do little more simplification. Integral x is equal to 0 to 1, 5 x to the power 4 divided by 6 minus x to the power 6 divided by 2 minus x to the power 7 divided by 3 dx. On integration, we get x to the power 5 divided by 6 minus x to the power 7 divided by 14 minus x to the power 8 divided by 24 to be evaluated at 0 and 1. When you substitute the upper limit, we get 1 by 6 minus 1 by 14 minus 1 by 24 and when we substitute the lower limit, we get 0. Simplification gives 3 by 56 as the value of the integral.